Correct. <laughs> Our fourth TV score. What is the real name of the droid Luke accidentally calls an R2 unit? The one with the bad motivator. Do you remember that? So you, I'm is that R5D4? It is! Wow. That's a miracle. What is the name of Luke's vehicle that he used to bullseye womp rats in? So remember, you talked about this. I used to bullseye womp rats in my T-16 back home. <laughs> And by the way, the reason I remember that is there was a reenactment of that scene on Family Guy, and then Seth changed his mind and revoiced me. Oh. Can you imagine? I go in and do Luke Skywalker, and then they changed the actor and had somebody dub me. I said to my agent, I said, well, maybe I'm too old for the part now. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Anyway, but I, you know, I, that line was in there, so that's why I remember. I said it within the last few years. Fantastic. What is the name of Luke's gunner in the Battle of Hoth? So who sat behind you? We had him on the oh, sofa it's earlier. Uh, Der Dennis Lawson as... No, in, in Empire Strikes Back. He sat behind you. Not Wedge and Tilly's? No, no. Oh, wait, wait. Empire Strikes Back when we're doing the walkers? Yeah. Oh, shoot. Dak! Dak! Yes! I'm blanking on that actor's name. I know Dennis Lawson plays Wedge. By the way, he owes me a lot because I remember we were doing uh, the last one when we were doing uh, Revenge of the Jedi, or um, Return of the Jedi. <laughs> I looked at the celebration scene and I said, how come Dennis Lawson's not here? I always call him the token survivor. Because he's like one of the people that survived the assault on the Death Star. And then he survived Empire Strikes Back. And he wasn't on the call sheet. So uh, I gave him a call and I said, are you going to be in? He says, not that I know of. I said, let, I don't know. If, I can't promise anything. But let me call the, the office and see what's going on. And they said, oh, sure. It's an oversight. But they, they got him in there. And I thought it, was, it gives a sense of continuity to the... Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, okay. Question number the five. Dennis, Dennis Lawson, and I, somebody should remind me who played Dak, because I, I, I forget the actor's name. Uh, he was John in here Morton. earlier. Who? John Morton. Yeah, it was John Morton. John Morton, okay. Yeah. He, was in, he was in earlier. He was one of uh, our vets of the vets. Is that right? Okay, so he's here. Yeah, oh, he my is. Gosh. Yeah. Okay. What are the names of Luke's aunt and uncle in A New Hope? The names of my aunt and uncle? Yeah. Uh, aunt Peru and Uncle Owen. That's it. <laughs> Come on. They're my relatives. I gotta go that play by Sheila Frazier and Phil Brown. Absolutely good work. Bonus point there. Nice work. Which That's your bonus points. Yeah, which planet <laughs> does Luke Skywalker travel to in order to be trained by Yoda? Where is Yoda? Oh, I go to the Dagobah system. Absolutely. I'm amazed that I'm coming. Have I been carrying you? I mean, you're on the, on, the, on the right track. Okay. Uh, why, according to Obi-Wan, do sand people travel in single file? Uh, why do they travel in single file? To be undetected? To yeah. hide their numbers, absolutely. Hide their right. numbers and avoid detection. Yeah, that's it. That's the right answer. Well, and now we're on to our photo round. Mark, look to the screen. Numbers, what creature is the <laughs> What creature avoid is the <laughs> so what's that there? What were you sitting on? Oh no, I know what this is because I mean we, we call them the the kangaroo guy, but it was uh, <laughs> it's a tom tom. Yeah. Oh! And by the way, there, there's an episode of uh, Thirty Rock where Liz Lemon gets really mad at Kenneth the page and she says, "I'll oh, cut you open like a tom tom." <laughs> She's, that's very funny. She, part of her character is that she's obsessed with Star Wars. So you watch 30 Rock? Yeah. She confesses to him. She goes on a blind date with a guy and she said, you know, he says, I'm very fond of Star Wars. She goes, really? I've been Princess Leia three times for Halloween. Recently. And he goes, no, 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 not the space fantasy movies. The strategic arms defense yeah. system. <laughs> Okay, so, Mark, we're going to go to my video clip clips. now. We're going to go to video clip now. Uh, it's a scene of yep. yours. We're going to pause it, and you have to complete the line of dialogue. Uh oh Can you speak Bachi? Well, of course I can, sir. It's like a second language to me. I'm sorry. All right, shut up. I'll take this. Shut up, sir. <laughs> 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 
Take these two over to the garage, will you? I want them cleaned up for dinner. Oh, no. <laughs> now, before I do this, I have to tell you. I decided to try and be as whiny as possible. <laughs> because I wanted to contrast to the immature Lou, when we thought we were only going to make this one movie, to him having an arc where he gets the medal. Yes. So I said, here's my opportunity to be the biggest whiny baby ever. <laughs> and I said, but I'm going to Toshi Station to pick up some power converters. <laughs> But people said, did, did you really mean to do it that lame? And I said, yeah, as a matter of fact, and I'm proud of it. But is that, are you going to play it now? No, that's right, that oh, is the answer. Right. Good work, man. But I mean, did I over-exaggerate how whiny it was, or was it really that whiny? It was pretty whiny. It was right. pretty whiny. All right. Okay, your last question. Listen up now. What's this Star Wars sound? <laughs> okay, they're on, on your home <laughs> On your home planet, but in that scene that we just saw. Oh, well, is, is, uh, is yeah. there a robot with binoculars? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a Jawa? Yeah. Yeah. I felt so bad. You know, the Jawas had their little outfits on and they had like a black velvet hood with the electronic eyes and the wires running to battery packs around their waists. And two of them were played by Tiffany and Melissa Kurtz, oh. uh, the daughters of Gary. Yeah. So they were like six and nine. Mm -hmm. And you know what it is with like kids in North Africa, it's fun for like the first half an hour. And they're like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying that I'm thinking, boy, I can totally relate to that. Poor Tiffany, she has red hair, and when they pulled her mask up, I mean, she was just flush. You know how redheads are. They don't tan, they stroke. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so uh, we were really worried for them. There were, there were some little people that were, you know, actors doing it, but for the most part, they got, like, children, which was grotesque in a way, probably violating all kinds of child labor laws. <laughs> So, our four, what is Mark's score at the end of the round? Well, Mark has scored.